Cassie Mason. I'm a real estate broker in Bethel, Maine. And today I'm answering the question, how important is my earnest money deposit? So at the time a buyer makes an offer, they typically put down what we call an earnest money deposit. In other states, it may be called a good faith deposit. And that amount of money goes into the seller with the offer. So this is a negotiable amount of money, just as is the purchase price and other terms of the contract. But um, take, for example, a buyer that puts down $10,000 with a $300,000 purchase. That stake in the game much, looks much more serious than someone who puts down $500 on a $300,000 purchase. So long as the buyer acts in good faith throughout the transaction and needs to walk away from the sale because of financing or due diligence within a specified amount of time, the earnest money deposit is refundable to the buyer. However, if the buyer changes their mind halfway through the purchase and walks away from the sale, the seller would the earnest money deposit. This is a deposit that is held in escrow. It isn't held by the seller or by the real estate agent. Um, it's taken care of throughout the transaction in an escrow account and is brought to the closing um, as part of the purchase price. So that's a consideration uh, for buyers in this tight market is if they increase their earnest money deposit, will they look more serious to the seller? And that answer is yes. This could be one trick to help you secure a property next time.